Hello and welcome to About Wood. My name's Mike Davis and I'm standing at the base of one of the tallest buildings in the Southern Hemisphere. This is the Sky Tower in Auckland City, New Zealand. Now, although the foundations of this building can't be seen, without them, it would be absolutely impossible to create such a, a fantastic spectacle. In this DVD, I'm going to help you build the foundation skills and techniques that will, well, they're essential to you becoming a competent woodcarver. Once those foundations are solid, well, the sky's the limit. In this episode, we're going to look at tool selection, sharpening and maintenance, and the significant six techniques, all of which are core components to wood carving. We're then going to look at timber selection, and I'm going to give you a basic project to put your skills to the test. Then I'm going to give you a second project that'll make your techniques become second nature. We're going to look at the carving process before taking a look at some tips and tools that'll make carving so much easier. got a project of my own to undertake and that is to produce a public artwork in the form of a billboard that symbolizes the Treaty of Waitangi which is New Zealand's founding document. This document established the relationship between the British and Maori people in 1840. The theme of the Treaty of Waitangi is partnership, participation and protection between the two cultures. Each year on Waitangi Day, the nation remembers the coming together of these two great seafaring civilizations. The Maori people travelled thousands of nautical miles to New Zealand from neighbouring South Pacific Islands in finely carved canoes called waka. Now I've been introduced to master carver Blaine Torito. Blaine is an ambassador for the Maori arts and I've been given this great privilege of being able to work with Blaine to create the carved billboard. We've got to create the carved billboard on the side of Maori Television's office building in the middle of Auckland City and we've got just four weeks to complete it. So our design is of a British and Maori figure travelling together in a Maori canoe called a waka. The Maori figure is pointing the direction and the British figure is steering. Both are facing in the same direction and heading into the future together. As this project develops, you'll see me putting into practice many of the techniques that I'll be demonstrating throughout the course of this DVD.